uh, to be running for the podium, so great. Uh, Flipper was in my calculations um, because uh, they have been a great okay. team in the last years. And well, Bamber and Orcas have been there for the last years as well, so. Okay, here we are in the game. Polisson from uh, Sweden in blue against Eke uh, from Turkey in white. This is an interesting game too because these two teams um, well, I, 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 my estimation would be uh, Ege is a little bit uh, on the on the tougher side here, but uh, seeing the last game of Polis and you don't know because uh, they really surprised me in the in the last game, and they played differently than in the games before. So let's see what uh, Ege will do. So uh, just uh, to, to uh, remember, we um, we put the uh, the the teams and the seating out for discussion, but it was a little bit too late. The next time we could change that and well put it out I mean earlier. I understand what H10 says, but I believe that Bamber have been playing great. Rick who play great. I mean, they won against Molde, so they deserve to be there. Orcas just won against Molde, so deserve they deserve to be there. Maybe. Flipper had a little bit of an easier way to the to the third, but all the others, they are all great teams, and uh, they are up to the task of being the first in, in this year. Um, I don't I don't see um, that as weaker teams going for the podium. So or I get your point. Yeah, this is my opinion me too. Yeah, 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 I totally understand what you mean, uh, Austin Carlton. So. Um, Back in this game, Polis and Ege, and we are uh, spend a lot of time in front of the Ege basket. Now we're in the pre rounds of uh, the for the fifth to the eighth place, huh? so okay. that people know we change the quarterfinals now to the pre rounds. We are in game 35. Polis and against Ege. Yeah, sorry. Continue. Um, I'll be back in a minute. All right, uh, we see police uh, doing a great job controlling the ball and staying in ball possession and uh, probing the defense of uh, Ege here. And the way police played um, with their experience in this game, it, uh, it's not impossible, they, they score, but the defense of Ege is uh, quite strong and they are fast uh, swimmers. So if uh, police is not in the in in focus here and uh, make a uh, qu uh, mistake they could easily catch a counter attack so let's see but police is controlling this game uh, in the first three minutes and that's for sure we are spending almost all of the time in front of the eggy basket and we've seen in this champions cup and we know from experience this could uh, go down on uh, as a goal and this was a, a, a interception of, uh, of a pass from uh, the Aggie player and uh, the Polisen player just was swimming into the pass and getting it and now we have a counter attack from Polisen in the direction of the Aggie basket and uh, probably uh, Polisen will dug in around the basket again going in into the defense of Aggie and it's difficult to overrun uh, the Aggie guys because they are really aware what's going on around their basket protecting both sides and uh, now we have a player from Polisen he's uh, having his knee on the basket in the basket uh, of uh, Ege but the ball was too far away and he couldn't uh, use this advantage being above the basket and uh, Ege tries to break free but he stopped in the middle of the pool uh, on the bottom of the pool by police and police is really uh, dominating uh, Ege here um, by far. Ege does not even manage to get out of their uh, uh, of their side. So if uh, police wins here, uh, where where do they stand, Lorena? The fifth place. No, no, they they play for the fifth no, five. No, now you won my statistic. <laughs> oh, I, no, I no, never no. understood statistics. No, no, no. Uh, well, the winner of this is, is uh, let me see. Hold on, I'm 
legs because the men is 14 teams. So we have the pre-round. It's four games for the pre-rounds. And this is a pre-round A for the fifth to this to the eighth place. Uh, let's see. Well, we have to start um, completely here the tabella. Pardon me? Well, I have to complete who is winning and then I can see who goes okay. to the semi-final. So mean, no, still Ege tries to build up uh, pressure on the police and basket. It's, uh, I think, the first time we see Ege in this game going uh, on the basket and th they, they have difficulties to get in uh, reach of the basket. And uh, the forechecking, the defensive forechecking is quite good. So yes, Levent, I saw the knee in the basket too, but uh, maybe the uh, um, referees gave advantage and it was uh, not a threatening uh, situation. It didn't make a difference in this moment, as far as I could see. Yeah, you normally are not allowed uh, to have a part of your body inside uh, the basket. So uh, Polizen recovered the ball and is in the middle of a pool going for uh, the basket. Under the basket there is one Polizen player on the open side. And they, the Polizen does quite a good job. Here one uh, Polizen player is alone with a, with a goalkeeper from Ege but uh, tackled away instantly by a defender. So it's really difficult uh, but uh, I guess Polizen is... Uh, is uh, has a little bit of an uh, advantage here being always in the side. Uh, if I understand this right, I mean the winner of this is going to compete for the fifth place. All right, thank you, Lorena. Sorry, I'm also, I mean, all these kind of schedules sometimes get me confused in my head. It stopped working a I while ago. I don't even ago, understand so them. No, so I do understand them, but you have to... Three minutes left in this first half, uh, Polizen from Sweden against AK. Uh, from Turkey, Turkey in uh, white and Polizen yeah. in uh, blue. Well, we'll try to change this heating for next year and see if we can get everyone happy. But if we try to change, it's always like half of the teams and one thing the one way, half of the team thinks different. So, so just to put an end probably to the discussion, we put it out there if you if we want to change uh, the the seating and the schedule and everything in the groups, but uh, the most of the. Uh, teams of the Champions Cup didn't react to our questions and uh, uh, a lot of them said let it be like that so we didn't have a, a, a majority who wanted to change it we can put it out uh, next time earlier and put it in a discussion but that's how it is right now okay Ege lost the ball again in front of the police and basket <coughs> Polizen does a good job, but they don't, they don't score, and they need to score if they want to win this game. And uh, Ege is always uh, good for a surprise to push forward, and uh, they only need one goal. We have one minute, 46, 45 in this last half, uh, in this first half. Sorry, in this first half here uh, of the game, Polizen Sweden against Ege in Turkey. And the gear is well attacking. I mean, Ege did a six, the a sixth place last year, and Finland the fifth, and Flipper was in the fourth. Just to give us so an Ege idea. is waiting, and uh, the Ege player with the ball is waiting on the surface. And police and was on the his team, and the police and player, uh, especially the four checkers, are waiting too until the attack comes to interfere in the right moment. They don't go for an attack on the surface, which is quite clever. So this is... Uh, 50 seconds left yeah. in the first half. Still a 0-0 zero, zero Champions Cup 2013. Uh, 2017. And is in ball possession. And they're getting... Uh, I'm under the impression that Polizen is getting better and better in this tournament. They feel more and more at home and uh, do quite a good job. And uh, probably the last attack in this first half. 
Eke player number three is trying to drill his way into the uh, basket area of Follison. Eight seconds. Last chance for attack. Seven, five, four, three, two, one. Over, over. We see the end to the first half. 325 people watching the live stream. And we have a three minute break before we start in the second half of this game. Ege from Turkey in white against Portison from Sweden in blue. Well, I'm still exhausted from this game. Uh I'm, I'm brain dead right now. Look at my. <laughs> Sorry, so I'm really like kind of a vegetal right now. I turn into a plant. Um, oh well. Three yeah. minutes break and um, the second half. But what which team do you think have been dominated? I mean, it's, it's Polisen, quite tight. Polisen, yeah. definitely Polisen uh, <coughs> was in more ball control. But that we know from games from Molde that doesn't is a that's not the deal breaker if no. you have a strong defense and if you manage to break through in the in the last minutes you only need one goal to to win and Polisen was in, in ball position better ball control but they didn't score yeah. so it didn't help them and we saw it happening we uh, saw a lot of time happening that the, the, the best team got a, a score yeah. because of we it. saw it happening uh, from a uh, Triton against uh, Flipper Flipper did control a uh, Triton did control the game and the ball most of the time but in the end Flipper scored with one goal and did win so well done uh, Lorena can you please close your mic to your mouth ah Put it closer to your mouth, they don't hear you. Hello? No, better? I hear you. Thank you. Better events like this? Thank you for the feedback. We always yeah. rely on the feedback. Dios, but bueno. maybe it's because I have a deeper voice. I like the shirts from Ege. There's a wolf uh, in front of it. Uh, and in the back of the cap yeah. as well. Yeah. And uh, Tarkan told me they're playing with the wolf. Ha ha. So 40 seconds left. I have to eat a little sandwich. Back in a second. Lorena, take over. Lorena is gone. I don't know who it's. <laughs> All right. So. Um. 20 seconds until we continue the second half of this game. We are watching here the pre-round A for uh, the places 5 to 8. And the winner of this game is going to go to play for the fifth place. And the loser, well, for the seventh. We have uh, 14 teams for the men and nine for the women. So let's see. All right, so start for Eger, got the ball and continue advancing toward the area of uh, Polisa. And now they're in the corner, in the surface, and they're waiting for the other for, uh, team players to get closer to pass the ball. But uh, policing was very good in intercepting the pass and pulling the player with the ball away. Uh, Eger still in possession, passed it, but was intercepted again. But uh, they recovered. Great. That was really a great catch. And now uh, Eger is in attack. I think this is too loud there and wow score great i mean it was an, an amazing uh, um, attack from Ege, a well-deserved goal and look this is what we're talking before that apparently i mean um i didn't see the game because i, I was away for a bit and policing was more in control but again uh, just uh, used the opportunity uh, better and this is what it's all about so we have now uh, Polisen coming onto the area of Ege and they will they want to score now. They have still almost all the 
half t uh, time to, to score. And uh, Ege would have to really play, concentrate, and uh, have the ball control because mm, now we are having very tight teams with each other. The gaps uh, uh, difference in between the quality, the, the game is not that big, so a mistake is paid with a goal. So they have to they um, have to stay put and concentrate in the game, and also. Uh, the teams start to get a bit more exhausted and uh, it gets more difficult to be focused when you are exhausted. Let's see, Ege played yesterday the last game and it was late night and today they were here, I mean Polish and started, let's see, today at 8.30, the first game already and Ege was here at 10. So already uh, a long day behind, and the uh, police and this is the fourth game of police and of the day, the fourth play. I mean, this is sure there's already a lot, and again um, two, I believe the third or the fourth. Oh, this is it. there. Sorry, that's a microphone of the pool area. All right, so. Mm, we are in the area of Polisen and Egg is trying to recover control of the border and the corner the surface is some call from the <coughs> oh the um, the microphone of the pool is uh, not working. Okay. We have free throw for Polisen now. And uh, this is the kind of things that Ega cannot really afford because um well, I mean, since they are very tight and uh, it's an opportunity for Polisen to be close here. Well, but look, great. They are fighting for the ball in the middle. And uh, it came back and forward between <laughs> uh, the, the Swedish team and the Turkish team. Let's see, Eger is trying to start a counter-attack and it stays, took a little bit too long, but wow, that was an amazing pass. It was like five, four, five meters. And now they're pushing against Polis and to uh, goalie, but uh, the defenders uh, help out and now we're in the surface. Who has the ball? They're fighting for the ball and it's five minutes and 30 seconds to finish the game. Let's see. Um, so that's what I yep. said before. Um, uh, you only need one goal to win. Really? And um, Paul Dyson was, was controlling the game, but nevertheless, it was uh, Eggy who scored. Well, but right now, I mean, for me, this tight. I mean, Eger is uh, also, you know, coming back and forward. I think that now Polisen wants to be in control of the ball. They don't want to take any risk because they want to try to organize an attack. And that's why they're being a little bit like more, they, they slow <coughs> down a little bit. But I don't see them being stronger than Ege. No, no, neither do I. Let's see. How many games did Ege Uno? So Egg is attacking again uh, Three right games in, the in, the in, the in the level of the goalkeeper going in, second wave uh, going in, into the defense. Um, this is right what the player does here right above the goalkeeper is really physical exhausting with the whole body movement into the, the, the other the defending bodies. And there are now a lot of these, uh, these are heavy attacks and this could soon end into a, into a goal. So we have back sound uh, from uh the pool. Four hundred and fifty ah. how many were watching Molde versus Orcas? Did you see how many spectators? Um Molde is three hundred and twenty. Well we're Orcas versus I think so, yeah, three hundred and seventy. Three hundred and seventy probably. And now we have one hundred and fifty? 
you see, this is the kind of thing we are talking about. Polisen really uh, took advantage, and uh, now oh. there's one one. That's uh, this is what I was talking about. I mean, they, these guys know what they're doing, and uh, this is really two. tight. So one score Time more, even if it's a few minutes away from the end of the game, don't really mean. Uh, that the game is already decided <laughs> until the very second, the very last second. So um, there is no boys, right? Uh, we are talking. Um, can you hear us? Levent, can you hear us? Yeah, Four but uh, I don't know. What's less of time? No, but ah, um, about three and a half. Minutes. Yes, four minutes. Okay, I didn't see the number, Livilev. Thank you, almost 400 watching. Okay, thank you, Key, for feedback. So we have also the uh, okay the voice of the referee back. Anyone else cannot hear? I mean, Key can hear us. I mean, apparently, uh, Levent cannot. Test, test, test. Please Levent, can you hear us? But what about the other, um, the other countries or the other? Uh, and who is back having again. Problem? Three minutes fifteen left, and it's a draw. So uh, whatever happens, <coughs> when nothing happens, we will have a penalty shooting after this three minutes. Okay, thank you, Bobby, for the feedback. Levent, there seems to be a problem with your device. Please uh, probably restart it if you had sound before. Maybe he something. Cannot, he cannot hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, two minutes, 45 left. The, the next goal will be the decision of the game. And uh, Ege is uh, attacking the police and basket really heavy. They're going in. Okay, thanks but so much for the, um, for the feedback. Thank you. Okay, so I'm... I'm slowly coming back <laughs> uh, two minutes to go one versus one I mean one and one uh, this is a draw and police and is trying to attack so now Ege has to be even more and more careful and we're back again at the Ege basket police and has two minutes yeah uh, uh, we try most of the time we do but sometimes we are um, busy doing uh, watching everything else. everything else and sometimes we miss that so yeah uh, and, and i think there was no microphone hear, on I mean at the referee table and um, there was a few times we didn't have but if you hear the number and we didn't and you can tell us i have the list although they're not all actualized apparently some of the uh, teams so back uh, in the game one minute 30 players. left one and a half minutes left and police is at the basket of uh, ege but ege managed the ege player the defender pulled free of the uh, attack and they were trying to to break through the the def the, the the defense of uh, the police the forging of police and the for and police and managed to break uh, into the defensive line of uh, Ege but it's a back and forth here uh, as minute. soon as the ball uh, is lost by one team, it's recovered by the other. It's a back and forth. And now we have an Ege player going really fast in the corner of... Uh, it's a pity that none of their team are coming. Oh, he stays long, long oh. time in the water. And yes. it's now in the on the open side oh, of the he's basket. he grabbed from the neck. I mean, this Ege player. And the ball, and is, the ball uh, is, uh, is, is... Nobody saw it. It was on the mm. open side of the basket and we have now police and that's the last chance that's the last attack we will see 31 seconds police is going in 25 <coughs> 20 last chance for police and and here we go they're on the open side and that was a great catch from yeah the it was very good by the Ekebrea number 13 he took the ball and now we have a counter attack uh, seven, six, That's could be four. If they make it now, that but oh there's a shoulder in the basket. It's quite deep in the basket. This is a penalty. This is a penalty. And <laughs> both team captains. Both team okay, captains. Okay, they didn't see the shoulder. 
Uh, yes, uh, Manuel, uh, we have to uh, talk about the academy in the US. Well, um, yes, I know. I just um, look. Will we cre create a, a, a website? Um, we can also communicate via Facebook, and then. Uh, this can is the this yes. is how can, we can you contact the us uh, on the, the Facebook side of the uh, Underwater Rugby yes. Academy? Then we can talk. I, is, um, um, I put the I'm link telling. here. Thank and you. So we can okay. start, and then the project is to start creating also um, hopefully a, a website so we can start putting all the content. And that's the idea. So the deck uh, referee, Mick, is. Um, with a battery and sometimes uh, the battery, the some, some, some contacts are not that good. We know it's on and off, but we have to switch it off when it uh, starts making uh, sounds. So yes, it's a first try. We do this first time we do this. We haven't done this in the uh, Champions Cup yet with a deck microphone. I think it's a great improvement, but it's something we can even more improve. Okay, blue team start, you can then uh, inform your team. So it's um, what we've seen before um, in the game, uh, Triton against uh, Flipper, it's... Okay, then we do that. No, it was not Triton against Flipper. Who do we have a penalty shooting? Before, uh, Flipper Ege. Flipper Ege, yeah. It was the only, f so far, it's the only True, uh, it's again penalty. Ege penalty, yeah. yeah. Here we go again. And I think last year they also had the situation a few times, if I don't remember wrong. So Ege is already used to it. <coughs> They've done it with Flipper. I don't know who has more experience in uh, penalty shooting. I think, yeah, um, well, I don't know. I mean, Polisin and Ege, I, 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 what's your... My guess is uh, probably Ege is training it more in their regular uh, exercise of this police and does would be my guess um, but it's a fair guess in the blue so uh, blue police and is attacking first and uh, Ege white is defending and uh, the first goal on one side is uh, the one zero that ha was first happening as the decision maker. So here we go. Uh, wow, that was fast. The police and uh, player went down, but he didn't went down under the whole basket. He stayed uh, with his body up, with his fins up, and just put uh, his arm with the ball next to the side, to the shoulder, into the basket of the uh, goalie from Ege. That was very fast and very well executed. Oh, I miss it. Sorry, I'm trying to put the link. Okay, and this is uh, police in defending and Ege attacking. It's number 13 attacking, and there's another. But well, that was a grip on the head. Normally, you're not yeah, allowed. Yeah, would have said said so too. I mean, the, the the goalie maybe should get two minutes. I mean, still, even if he converted the. So, press the repeat button. I don't know why I'm having problems posting the link. Ah, there we are. Oh, nope. And we go. Uh, Egg is defending, and Paul is is attacking. We need to have a decision to end this game. And uh, this police and the attacker has more difficulties getting uh, past uh, the egg attacker. He's going up to the surface, taking okay. a breath, and 20 it's 20 seconds. seconds. This is going to be a, uh, a game of psychology. 15 seconds, 10 seconds. The egg player goes up. Shit. That's it. Yeah, he was yeah. out of air. And he had to go up, and he thought he can make it back down again, but didn't work. So uh, <coughs> if uh, police and defense now, uh, 
they do win. Oh, all right. Um, so 2-1, now Pim uh, again needs to uh, score again the next... Um, and if they don't score now, it will be uh, the repeat button. So the Egger player comes from uh, the, the bottom uh, of the pool and is trying to push from the top now into well, the that was feet. A bit of a kick. Yeah, it looked like a kick, but he's trying to get in the feet uh, of the uh, police and defender. 20 seconds. Time counting. He, he cannot anymore. You can tell when, yeah. the, when it yeah. the goalkeeper tried. This Okay, 2-2. Two, two. I put the link there, even if the link is not uh, working, but copy it and then it's good. I mean, you just cannot click on the link, but you can copy the address for the Uber Air Academy. Um. So the repeat button is pushed again, and we have uh, Ege defending the penalty, and Polis and Player is coming in really fast. He's coming yeah. from the uh, top. Swimming over the egger goalkeeper, but it's a good job. Yeah, yeah he's, uh, the police and player has difficulties on uh, getting past the arm of the egger player, ah, oh, and, and the egger egg player has ball control. He's going up to the surface, and he got it. So he prevented great, and hold it great, very well great. done. And now all the pressure is in the uh, poor Tucker. They have to convert. I mean. <coughs> Great, great uh, job. Both teams really doing their uh, absolute best here, and it's uh, remarkable the energy they still have after, after a long the day. Yeah. There is one Ege player lying there, lying there and breathing the heavily. Maybe the one that just uh, fell Yeah, me. went up. It's so, uh, last round you here, Ege is attacking, number 10 is attacking, and police and uh, number 2, I think, is defending. And he's already at the head of the uh, police and, yes, wow, okay, and that's great it. Great execution, that was brutal, but good and well-deserved one. And... Uh, So uh, congratulations to Ege. Then it was 3-2, right? Yep. Uh, Come on, yeah, are three you watching rounds. <laughs> Yeah, three rounds. Uh, congratulations right. to Ege. They congratulations win. to both teams. That was really also a great match. And yeah, police and uh, really played. Uh, it was incredible. Um, uh, they, the improvement within the tournament was really remarkable. remarkable. So uh, congratulations to both teams. Very well done, and Ege did win, so it m puts Ege on the fight. I mean, on the on the on the for the for the fifth place. Yes. For the fifth place, okay. And that would be I think last year did I say that they did a sixth place? So that would be if they win the fifth place. Last year they went on the sixth place. So if we this year can win, then they would have improved on one position. And uh, let's see. I'm going to write down all this. Uh, you can people is oh people are watching hey oh let's get give me give me something to talk